beautiful gold eye. Good looking bourbon, took the flag. So it is unprecedented. Is that the right word? How much we need coffee. We're gonna drill a couple holes. We're gonna set up a jacker. We're gonna set up a flag. Whoops, it's caught on something. And then we're gonna brew some coffee. The whole idea today is it has a little fun. We're gonna do some cooking on the truck. We got some gourmet meals called Mr. Noodle. Have you heard of them? If not, you're going to be buying them after this video. Set some set lines up, drill some holes, and brew some coffee. Stay with me, it's gonna be a good day. Still lots of ice, it is the middle of March. Still got a good 20 inches, getting on the ice, holy, you almost need cleats, but you do need cleats. Getting on the ice is still good, but it's supposed to be plus nine today, so getting off is another story. What we got here, that's all that matters, so let's start uh, dropping some lines. On the jacker, we're gonna be tying up a Wonder Bread eight mil, quarter ounce. These fishies ain't gonna know what hit them today. That tastes like fish. The good old fisherman knot in my trusty cutter. Absolutely, this is the best thing I ever got. If you're interested, they're in the store. They're tungsten line cutters, and they come with a lanyard to stick to your side. Absolutely love it. Right here. That's what it's all about today. You're gonna put a nice little greasy shine on it and go down Periscope. And on the tip up, we're gonna put a full bigger minnow on that one. There we go. And make sure you guys pull the line back towards the center of the hook because you always want these guys horizontal down there. You watch this, I'm gonna go set the flag up. Oh my God, I forgot the lighter. Oh my God, if I don't get coffee, we're going back to town. I might have a ferro rod in my truck, I'm not even joking. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, are we lucky. I have my ferro rod in the truck with a knife to spark it. Ooh, that was close. That could have been really bad. And I have said this before and I'll say it again, do not ever buy those one pound propane tanks. Spend 40 bucks, get the hose, because three tanks of those one pounds is gonna be 21 bucks. If you buy this for 40 bucks, you hook it to your big tank and it's like 25 bucks to fill a 20 pound tank. So it's absolutely criminal what, the, what they charge for that. Food for thought today. Now we are anything but level. Oh, like a glove. Look at that. Hey, 30 strikes we got, right? Let's use the actual uh, sharp end. As soon as you actually use the one to make a spark. Way nicer. Loving this right now. We're doing an instant today. We're getting a little crazy, I know. But I didn't want to bring uh, the bean crusher. like that look at my cup if you guys are new welcome to the party got the custom we like it I got one of those boat mixers but we're not mixing any uh, creams or Bailey's today we got to drive and Jess isn't much of a driver I'm kind of a big fan of coffee little dumpy dump here that's extremely strong. We had a quarter inch in there. Might take a little longer to boil because it's super windy today. If you guys are interested, I got a bunch of these on the store too, but I only ship uh, in Saskatchewan. There's a lot of laws and rules in every province. I just avoid that or shipping to the States, but I love these. It literally is a survival kit tool and it sort of made us survive today because we would go crazy if we had no coffee. Absolutely insane. Mr. Noodle himself, a long companion. I'd like to introduce to you Mr. Noodle himself, a long friend from high school. 
about as hot as she's gonna get with this wind. It is pretty hot. She's got some bubbles. Now the tricky part. I almost didn't have enough water. I technically, I didn't have enough water. That's okay. Cheers, my friends. Live long and prosper. It's freaking good. Well, I know it's gonna be good. Mediocre warm. Warm as it's gonna get. Mighty fine. Can't wait for a cup of noodles. I kinda wanna make them now, but we better wait. We got no food left by noon. Oh, we got a fish. Look at that. One top side, all we need is our coffee. Wonder Bread, he loved it. Took it, stole our minnow too, I don't really like that. So it's a good sign they're biting. Right after we, literally, literally, right after we finished our coffee, this happened. Things are looking good today. We are in the, the uh, prime location, we're about 12 feet. We're kinda before it gets uh, onto the main ledge to get into the main basin, cause it is early in the day. So I wanna stay somewhat shallow. If there's nothing here throughout the day, we are going to uh, go deeper. <laughs> oh God, oh God, as soon as we walk away. Oh my God, I don't have time to get the camera. I do not have time to get the camera. Oh my God, it's spooling. It is spooling like a bugger. It is gone. Look out, Jess. It's not bad, it's not bad, not big. Oh, a big burbot, look out Jess, yes. Look at, I can't believe it. I'm bringing the camera guys, just hang on. Literally, as I walk away to drill a new hole, that happens. I'm coming, oh my God. We're gonna keep this guy, nothing super big, but we're gonna keep this guy and fry him up tonight. Just leave it, it's a f***ing tumbleweed. We are resetting, setting the depth, and I like to use split shots better than the bobbers, because the bobbers come off a lot easier. Not a fan of that. Then you obviously put your big old weight on the bottom to dunk it and find the exact depth on the bottom. And the river here is quite fast, so I got two weights above the snap swivel and about 18 inches of 100% fluorocarbon, 12 pounds. I like it a little bit lighter with a single treble. It's a little bit better if you're getting wall ice other than a pike, so we like to take our chances. Nice single hook one side of this middle, and that is it. And we drop her down on periscope, and hope for the best. And one major thing that lots of people, I don't know if they actually know, or maybe they do, when it's windy, the windy's going towards the camera. So you wanna make sure you put the flag where it hitches on this side, so it pushes into it, just like that, so the wind doesn't blow your flag off and get a false flag, and get super excited for no reason. What do you think, Jess? Giant? Absolute giant. I don't know about you guys, but when I wake up in the morning, I think, man, I hope I catch giants just like this. Look at this thing. Look at it, we gotta get it as big as we can. As big as we can, this is our thumbnail. <laughs> Jeez. Later. By the way, this is where the money's at. We have caught so many fish on this gold cast master this year. It's absolutely insane. We've probably went through about three trebles on this. We gotta keep, keep replacing them, especially with burbits. They got such a strong bite, they'll just wreck these things. But the cast master's holding up good, and we've caught like, I don't know how many, I don't, I don't know how many fish, but a lot. If you guys are uh, wanting, looking for a new hook to try, definitely highly recommend these. That guy came in pretty hot. Oh, look at that. Beauty! What an absolute brute. I'll never ever get sick of catching oh, gold eyes. Gold eyes are some of the coolest fish out here. I've said that in every video, but man, they're gorgeous. Getting these things in the light, these silver bars, they just sparkle. They're absolutely beautiful. Nice little release here. And he came in pretty hot. This guy 
took it right off off the bottom. I we're jigging aggressively, and when they come in, we slow it right down. That I pulled up about actually about a, uh, close to two feet, and he took right up after it and hammered it. So maybe we're getting into a super awesome bite window. We shall see. But if not, we're gonna be cooking Mr. Noodles himself, and you guys can check that out. <laughs> Jeez. This is why it's nice to have a fast action, because I got a guy right on the hook. You can slowly pull up. Rip it a lip, rip the lips just a little bit. And if he bites down, you can feel it a lot easier. Oh, see there. Oh, he took it, but I missed. Oh God, did I lose all my bait? Oh no, that hurts. That hurts so bad. So my only predicament is this is that if I have enough, it should hold enough water because that was half full and wasn't quite enough for a cup of um, coffee this morning. But I think we'll have enough. We'll see, and it's kind of windy, so I'm gonna angle it like this. So now, we're gonna have to fill this thing right up because we gotta make sure we have enough new or water for these this cup of noodles here. I absolutely love noodles. I, I had these growing up so much. It's, they formed me. They made me who I am today. I wouldn't have survived high school without noodles. Noodles and instant coffee, literally. This is my freaking high school meals right here. We'd always make a pot of coffee in the morning or boil water and throw it in the cup because you know I didn't know how to make coffee when I was real young. Live on instant. We live on noodles, best combination ever. Still drinking it and eating it to this day. <laughs> I don't know if that's the healthiest thing in the world, but whatever. Well, it's not, it's not the healthiest, don't do that. This is what we got for um, a fork. We got a freaking butter knife for the bread, but I forgot a fork. Big fan of butter toast with my butter noodles. It's starting to get steam. It should be enough to boil since we kind of blocked it in here. There we go. Coming to a rolling boil. This wind sure freaking keeps it down or keeps it from heating. That's why lots of people bring tin foil to wrap around the bottom of the stove. It will help a lot if it's super windy. But she's enough, she's cooking. We'll be all right. Throw our secret sauce into the noodles here. There she goes. That will probably do. Now, so we don't burn ourselves since we're pouring out of a pot, gotta be a little more careful here. Oh, 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 we're making a mess. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, we got enough water, ow! Definitely worked out. Close this up, put our little cup on it, and let that simmer for about three minutes. You know what, we can have coffee. Why don't we have coffee? We got extra, look at that. Way more than I thought. Nice. That ratio is totally gonna to be too strong, but that's all right. The simplest, the simplest is always the best outdoors. Love it. Don't have to be fancy at all. Well, look at us. It's so windy, I gotta have it somewhat high. Or it's gonna blow it out. It's gonna cook real fast. We can't, uh-oh. Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's burnt. Actually, that's good. A little campfire burnage, which is totally allowed when you're cooking outdoors. It might cook anywhere, but whatever. Don't judge me. Don't judge me ever. What a meal. Instant coffee, Mr. Noodles, chicken flavor, the best, and butter toast. It's almost healthy. Ow, ow. The only thing about those stainless steel cups are hot. It's like I forgot. Nice, we are looking good here. Oh, my butter's so hard. That's my absolute pet peeve, is hard butter. Dang it. It's like putting on chunks of butter here. There's no spreading it today. It's gonna leave that in the pan, so it'll blow away. A little chunky, but it'll do. So here we have it. Our butter knife, because I can't remember anything. Sorry about that. Awesome, look, look at this. Man, nothing beats new. Get the camera wet, jeepers. Nothing beats Mr. Noodles washing it down with some coffee and some burnt campfire toast, which is actually ideal. I love it, man. It's so good. Mm. Hits a spot too when it's windy and cold. Ooh, that coffee. I can stand a spoon up in that.
This is really not ideal. Um, anything just a little bit of warm, take that edge off when you're outdoors like this. Nothing beats it. I am such a fan of noodles. I, I love them. Who else in the chat loves noodles? Everybody? <laughs> Man, Mr. Noodle. So good. Do a little dippy here. Oh my god. I always get that slight taste of fish from my minnows on my <laughs> fingers. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Noodles, baby. Noodles are so good. I really appreciate everybody who's watching, been watching for the years, supporting. I really truly mean that. YouTube's super hard, but it is super fun. This is my passion, my hobby, and I absolutely love it. If you guys are new, don't be afraid to hit the subscription. It helps me out a lot. It lets me uh, know to create more videos similar to like this or along the lines. I mean, this is the best thing to do in the world. I absolutely love this. I can stay out here all day, every day, and have just as much fun. Well, it's a pretty good one. Or maybe not. I don't know what it is. Oh, nice gold eye. Another nice goldie. So what we did, we kind of changed it up. We're running an 8 mil tungsten, and we're just tipping it with a big chunk of minnow. And they're coming in pretty aggressive right now. Beautiful gold eye. I gotta adjust my uh, settings right now. The lighting's terrible. And those fish, if you guys have ever grabbed them, they're just solid, man. They're like a two by four. They're just very unique. And we're giving Jess a little breather. She never complains. She can always go in the truck. She has her rug, but we're leaving her up here. Just give her feet a little, a little pause, a little break, sitting on the rubber, a little warmer for her. Oh, oh, that's a good one. I don't know what that is. Oh, oh, a nice walleye. Oh yeah, so holy lick. Tell you what, pink, purple out here at Diefenbaker, the absolute best. I gotta be careful I don't lose my freaking uh, stuff in the wind here. This is a nice walleye, very, very respectable. This is about almost about 20, 21 inch. Now walleyes too, walleyes too, I was just reading, you can tell how healthy they are, how healthy they are the tail fin, it depends how sharp it is and how many black spots there is. I did a little reading the other day about that, but it's very fascinating. But the pointy tail tells you how healthy they are. But we're gonna throw it back. Nice little release here. Love walleyes, man. Beautiful fish. And this thing's thick too. It's eating very well and it's the end of ice. It's late March now. Always gotta make sure they start to kick before you let them go. Just like that. Oh, flag up, flag up, flag up. Go, Jess, go, Jess, go. <laughs> oh, not bad, I don't think. Oh, I got the line going the wrong way. Oh, nice bourbon. Look out, Jess. Beauty. We're gonna lose our chair over there real quick. Good looking bourbon. Took the flag, finally slow down the flag, holy cow. But we're getting a couple now, it's the second bourbon on the flag. Let him go. Nice. One thing that should be noted about running uh, flags with burbots, always check the flag. I'm checking it off camera quite a bit. We've had three burbots this year. They swallow the minnow and they just stay. They lay right on the bottom and they don't even move. So lots of times, twice when we were cleaning up for the day, pulling the flags in, there were burbots on them twice. And it happened to a buddy the other day too. So always keep an eye on your flags. They may be just seating them. Some once in a while they'll eat it and take off, but sometimes they just get a full belly and they just stay right on the bomb. And you won't even know until you pull your flag. So some, that's food for thought. I didn't really know that until this year. And when it started happening more often than not, it's just something else to be aware of. Hope you guys liked this video. If you want to see more videos like this, click here or there. Goodbye.